I mean, it's ridiculous. Hey, eh? 40k bike ride. It's not the Tour de France. Shifter. I mean, what did the office say, huh? It's to protect the crimson chuff. Spanner. Oh. I mean, do you know what a chuff is? It's a crow. My thighs are caning because of a crow. God, kill me now. I tell you what, as soon as this rash goes, I'm going to march into that office and I'm giving me two weeks notice. Uh, all right. That's done. Here. Clean up here, will you? I've got to go into camp still. Yeah, no worries. Have we got the binoculars? Anything? Well, it's not nothing. Well, that's odd. Yeah, it's a box. Have we got a hacksaw? No, it's more of a showpiece, really. Jeez, it weighs a ton. Don't try and lift it on your own. Well, come and give me a hand. Well, that's not going to happen. No, it's a personal rule. Ryan, always be suspicious of a man-sized container. <sighs> hey? Haven't you seen a horror movie? Yeah. That's how it starts. Feeling better? Much. Thank you. What's with the outfit? Nothing. Nothing's with it. I don't think there's anything with it. Maybe I left something. No. No, nothing. Right. So, uh, have we introduced ourselves? My name's Cole, and this fella here's Raz. I'm referred to as Yahom in Esquai Fleet. But my brethren call me Starchild. Starchild? We'll just stick with Yahom. No, 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 no. Let's call him Starchild. So, we're out here fixing pipes out on the flats. We'll be here for another couple of days or so, but if you like, when we're done, we can drop you off in town. It would be appreciated many times. I think he's going to kill me. Stop it. Am I joking? I think. Right, I'm off to bed then. You haven't had your dinner yet. No, I'm going to skip it. Good luck with Freak Zipper.
the right side. What? I didn't do this. Freak shipper did Star it. Star child. Yeah, home. Whatever. Are you sure? No. I did it myself so you wouldn't trust him. Help me wait. I'm going in. Dawn salutes you. Morning, yeah, home. Shut it. What's this? It's the symbol of the Red Crow. Oh, that's all right. It's just a symbol of the Red Crow. But you don't... Seem to have many crows around here. Crimson chuffs. Really? Do you mind not being overfriendly with a man who's just molested my face? Well, that term's a bit harsh, isn't it? Oh, yeah, right. Well, we'll just wait until he does the other half and then he uses my face as a skin lampshade. Ah. Maybe then we'll use the term. Do you want me to finish it? Are you playing with me? Cole, I can't stand this fella. Are you say... coming? <sighs> So he got some paint on your face. It's not exactly a crime. Why are you on his side, huh? You don't know him, you don't know about him. I mean, why is he out here? Why was he locked in a box? Is it some kind of like weird cult thing, huh? Or is he just waiting for two unsuspecting travellers, huh? Is that it? Look, he just needs a lift. What does it matter? It does matter. People want to know. I didn't give it a second thought. No, and that's why you'll be on the next episode of Crime Stoppers. Look, finish up here, will you? I'm going to go and purge the paint. That's it! Ignore me! Speak of the freak. Am I the freak? Oh! Everyone wears Gary Glitter's Japanese collection. Who's Gary Glitter? He's a singer from the 80s, amongst many other things. So. Is this not what people wear now? In the... Nineties. What? Nothing. He is a freak! OK, I'm calling an end to this. This has gone too far. What are you talking about? Don't come that with me. He's indoctrinating you. Huh? The whole world can see it, apart from you. Look, I'm going to go and drain the dam, all right? Oh, no, no, no. You can't use your weak blood as an excuse this time. Can I aid you? You keep away from me, Priscilla. Here. How the hell did you do that? The universe has many tales yet untold. Like the tail how I give you a smack. Cut the crap. Who are you? I'm just a traveller. With no place to call home, but many places feeling... homely. How have I managed not to hit you? You do not believe me? Here, I have something to show you. Hey, if this is going to be blue, I'm going to get coal back. It's the orb of Furry. The story tells of two brothers who were passing through the desert when a terrible sandstorm rose from the winds. Do you know there's a little chip on the side there? Ignore it. So thick was the cloud they could not see the nose on the end of their face. The brothers called out to each other over and over and then a glow. Yeah. A glow so warm. 
so full of happiness and freedom. Come to me, my brother. Be at peace. Oh, you're back! Hey, this guy's great! I can't remember why I didn't like him now. See, I told you all you need to do is talk to him. New rule, if you like a drink, you're all right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't salute you! You didn't want to come with us, mate. That's what we planned. No, it's quite all right. What did I tell you? If you free yourself from the burdens of life, then you will truly live. Plus, I'm a traveler with nowhere to call home but every, every place, place feeling homely. <laughs> what a really great guy. Yeah, top block. Oh, that's embarrassing. I was going to get his email address and meet him in town. And we're naked. All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they bought it. Yeah. Now I've got heaps of stuff, eh? Hey? That's pretty good. Um, that reminds me, the orb, it's out of batteries. Can you pick some up? The, they're watch batteries. They're not double A's. No, nah, they're not double A's. They are not double A's. They're, they're not double A's. Man. Just pick me up from the field. I don't know which field. Just a field. Just pick us up. Just, okay, yeah, tell mum the rings are fine. Yeah, they worked really well. Magic. All right, no worries, we'll see you soon. All right, catch ya. Fucking flies!